What's up everybody, MonkeyDo22 here for another Let's Play. This time we're going to be playing through The Movies, which was a game by Lionhead Studios, uh, more commonly known as the developers behind the series Fable, or Black and White. Uh, this game was actually released on PC on November 8th, 2005 in North America. So, it's an older game, it's about, uh, you know, 12 years old, and uh, it's a really good one, actually. Um, it's kind of a lot like The Sims, in that you basically create your own movie studio, and by doing that, you'll actually get to hire and fire actors and actresses you'll hire a crew you'll build sets and there's a lot of stuff that you can actually do to actually uh, change the way the movie's actually made itself so uh, if you guys like this let's play you want to see me continue this series go ahead and drop a like on the uh, video and let me know in the comment section below what your favorite part is and uh, be happy to consider that for uh, future videos uh, first thing that we're going to do first is we're going to jump into uh, the star maker and the star maker is actually a unique tool that allows you to basically create your own customized actor and actresses and then you can hire them inside the game so let's go ahead and take a look at that now and then we'll go ahead and jump on into the game all right so now that we got the uh star maker here open for the movies now this is the coolest thing about the movies not only could you actually run your own movie studio and you know make all these different kinds of movies from like science fiction to horror and action things like that you can actually create actors and actresses to be in these movies so instead of having like predetermined characters you can actually make your own so let's go ahead and make an actor here let's call him bob um let's call him bob smith we'll go with bob smith there now the cool thing you can kind of manipulate the heads and kind of see what's going on with this uh, this is the total classic lion head now lion head wanted you to have like control over virtually everything here so let's see Let's take a look at what options we have here. We got some different kind of heads that we can pick. Ooh, that guy's kind of creepy looking. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that one. A little bit zombie-ish looking to me. Um, let's go ahead. Hmm. The portrait looks really uh, awkward, but the face doesn't look half bad. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, now, of course, we can also edit the facial features. We can edit some eyes. We give them some blue eyes, some uh, black, brown, green, red, all sorts of different kind of colors here. Uh, let's go ahead and do blue eyes there. Uh, let's take a look at these eyebrows. You can kind of manipulate those as well. Um, hmm. eh, kind of looks all right. <laughs> Eye makeup. I don't think we need any makeup on them, but look at that. You can be a bandit. Yeah. All right, so we'll leave that alone there. Let's take a look at some of the facial hair here. Kind of like that. It's not too bad. I don't think we need any lipstick, though. Um, got some different kind of hairstyles here. All right, I think I, I kind of kind of like that hair there. That's pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at the advanced face modeling. You can actually move the nose in and out. You can uh, change the width of it. Uh, there's so many different options here that Lionhead's put into this editor. I mean, it's a lot like The Sims, if you remember what those games were like. Uh, let's take a look at the star information, though. Now, this is where you can basically change the actor or actress's attributes uh, throughout the game. So you can uh, basically add some points to the looks, uh, some trimness. Now, uh, everyone's a little bit different here. Uh, you can kind of see in the uh, information there on the bottom of the window that kind of gives you some idea of what they actually do. Um, now, I think Bob Smith should be our action guy. So let's go ahead and give him some good action ability here. Maybe a little bit in the comedy section there. I don't think we really need him for horror and romance, but I'm, I do like to make horror movies, so we'll give him a little bit in that. Uh, let's take a look. Um, yeah, we've got some looks there. Um, I don't, yeah, I mean, it's an action star, so we'll give him a little bit of trimness there. Uh, we want to make sure that he's got a high stress threshold because he's going to be our main dude who's going to be doing a lot of that. Um, since he's going to be in a lot of movies, we don't need a whole lot of boredom. Um, definitely want to make sure it's easy to please him for sure, but, uh, uh, we don't necessarily need him to have a high tolerance or low tolerance for that. Uh, maybe knock that down a little bit. Now, the nice thing is they actually will. Uh, level up over time or at least they will gain more attributes over time as they do more uh, movies and things like that and uh, there's different kind of ways that you can um, increase those stats so uh, I think we're good to go with Bob here um, as far as like the body and stuff like that that's all basically in the game it's really the heads that you're kind of focusing with here um, so 
uh, now that we've got him there, let's go ahead and save him. And we got Bob Smith there. Now, Bob Smith needs to have a, a co-star here. So, uh, what should we call the uh, the female here? I'm always a partial to Jenny. Uh, I kind of like Jenny. Um, let's uh, let's go with the let's see last name. I guess we can call her Smith. We can have Bob and Jenny Smith. Why not? They can be the Smiths. Uh, let's take a look here and see what we've got for some faces here. Um, that's kind of manly. Um, <laughs> let's see. There's a whole bunch of different kind of options here. I want to make sure that they're kind of related looking. So, um, I guess that kind of works. That works pretty well. Uh, let's take a look here. And uh, let's give her... Uh, let's give her those brownish eyes. I kind of like that. Uh, let's go with the facial features. Um, yeah, it's kind of all right. Um, do you think she needs makeup? I don't know if she needs a whole lot of makeup. <laughs> you can give her have a big bandit. Um, uh, maybe like that. A little bit on the underline. That's uh, that's pretty good. I kind of like that. Um, could change the color here. Ooh, that's kind of kind of awkward looking. Uh, let's kind of go with the black. I think the black works best. Uh, ooh, we can give her facial hair. Hey, the bearded lady. No, we don't need that. Um, some lipstick. Uh, it's not too bad. I don't really like the hairstyle. Let's change that hair though. Oh my lord, look at that. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty out there. That's pretty out there for a hairstyle. Let's get something else here. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I mean, of course, since this game came out in 2005, everything looks kind of blocky. Uh, it's kind of interesting though, that they give you the options to use like the male haircuts too. I mean, look at that. Wow. Um, let's see. Let's, let's see here. Nah, it's kind of too short. It's all right. It's not too bad looking. Um, let's go, let's try some of that. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, this, this, you kind of start in the fifties, uh, you know, kind of during the advent of the, uh, the movie. So, I mean, that, eh, she can kind of grow with that. I mean, she's not going to be around the studios forever because of course they do actually retire eventually, but, uh, I think I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and give her some looks here. Uh, we don't need necessarily all that trimness. <laughs> really? That's a thing. Sorry, of course, Peter Molyneux. Uh, let's see here. That was uh, my Amazon Echo Dot in the background that you heard there. <laughs> um, breast size <laughs> affects the physique rating. Okay. Um, all right. So I guess we'll give her a little bit of that. Um, we do kind of want her to be in some of these action movies with Bob. So we'll give her a little bit of action. Um, I kind of would love to have her in some horror films. So let's make sure she's good at that. And uh, maybe some some romance as well. Uh, now let's make sure that she's got um, easy to please here. Um, she's got a high food and drink tolerance. And she's got high stress. And eh, maybe a little bit of that. And make sure she doesn't get too bored too often. Um, I think I like this. Alright, so we got Bob and Jenny Smith. Let's go ahead and save her. And uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, jump on over to the uh, the actual movies game here this is the star maker for the movies kind of your precursor to um the actual game itself so let's go ahead and jump over to the actual game and uh we'll go ahead and start our studio all right so let's go ahead and create our own studio here what do we want to call the studio i've always gone with dude 22 studios don't judge me name uh, we'll just go with Monkey Dude. Alright, now let's change the uh, studio flag here. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, there's a monkey there. Um, kind of like the swirl. The eagle's kind of cool. Butcher knife? Okay. Uh, Alright, I guess you're going to butcher cows. That one's not too bad. It's fairly generic, though. <laughs> Toilet Bowl Industries. Peace Studios. I don't know. A-bomb. 
burger. I don't know. These are all kind of uh ew, I kind of like maybe like chatter teeth. Rewind Studios. Blurb Studios. I don't know. Cat, bird, alien. Flaming skull. He's kind of a dude. Bright Idea Studios. Hmm. There's kind of a... There's a lot of different options here. Um... Lion. There you go. There's a there's a monkey. We'll go with that. All right. Let's get into this now. Welcome to the dawn of the movie industry. The year is 1920, and your new studio's success lies in your hands. I thought it started in the 50s. You must guide it to greatness. You must create the biggest movies and employ the most famous stars as you strive to reach the summit of the studio charts and reap the rewards of victory. First, build a thriving studio. Hire wannabes and nurture them into your stars. Make the movies that'll get the big bucks rolling in and clean up at the awards. Then, with every award you win, with every success you enjoy, your studio's reputation will grow. Soon, stars from rival companies will flock to your studio, and you'll unlock new technologies, scenes, and sets to make your movies better than ever. So what are you waiting for? You've got a suitcase full of cash and a world of possibilities before you. Now get out there and start making your dreams come true. Because in the movie industry, anything is possible. You're Welcome darn to right. your new movie studio. Welcome to my new movie studio. Okay, before you open the studio, you'd better set up some of the essentials. Yeah. The first building you'll need is a stage school for hiring your stars. Left, that's it. Now left click on the sparkling, you can place the stage school anywhere by left clicking at the desired location. Go Let's ahead, go right give it a there. try. Great. To build the stage school, you'll need to hire a builder at the staff office by this. Now click and hold down the left mouse button. Now hire them. Great. Builders perform any building and maintenance duties automatically, so you can leave them to it. Fantastic. While the stage school is being built, you can use this time to sort out the rest of the buildings you'll need. Hmm. Okay, now build a casting office. You'll need this for assigning stars to your movies. Just follow the sparkles on the build menu. You can rotate a building by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse around in a circle. Try this now. Um, I guess we could go right there with that. Kind of makes sense. Great. Now build a crew facility. Every movie needs a crew to operate the filming equipment. Kind of go right You'll there. also need a set to shoot your movie on. Left click on the sets icon, then select the stage set. The all generic stage. We'll call this stage one. Um So I'm I'm thinking that the walkway is gonna go like up like that and then also cross. Um I mean it's such a huge Studio, so I mean you could put these things anywhere. Um, I kind of want to be closer by to where the actors are actually going to be, which I'm thinking I'm going to put like a whole little trailer park right here. So let's go ahead and let's put stage one right here. Finally, build a production office. You'll need this to release your movie. Production office could probably go right here. Excellent. Now you've got all the buildings you need for your movie, you can look at improving the studio environment. Get some more of these uh, folks over here. 
One of the keys to running is successful is click on the landscaping button, then select the sparkling path icon. Yeah, we are going to need some paths by here. clicking and dragging out the shape on the ground. Try linking up the flashing connection points on your buildings. There we go. Paths are important. Helps you get from A okay, to B. Okay, that'll do for now. Remember to lay down more paths as the studio expands. I kind of like having some grass in the front area here. Makes things look a little bit more professional, I guess you could say. Right, as you can see, we've got 123361 bucks up here. So i uh, got a little bit of... Uh, space and cash to play with here. Uh, let's see, I guess... Yeah, this is the tarmac stuff. This will just go like that. We can flush out the rest of this and grass. There we go. Looks a little bit better. Make it look a little bit more like a parking lot there, I guess. Uh, I don't know why they necessarily have the parking lot right there, but whatever. Um, let's go ahead and get a couple of plants in here. And now the big thing with the movie studios is you want it to be um, very appealing as far as like feng shui. Um, basically, this is how your studio ends up getting rated um, in the game. So it's good to have all sorts of different kind of plants and different kind of things around to kind of make make things look a little bit more appealing to the eye. Uh, you also want to have different kinds of seating and different kind of things for the actors to do while you are, um, you know, uh, messing around with stuff while the actors are just kind of chilling. Um, so you definitely want to have that kind of stuff. So I like to have a little bit of everything everywhere, essentially. Uh, just because it makes it a little bit more appealing. You can kind of see the green that's kind of building in. That means that the... Um, uh, actually, see if I can just pull this up here. Uh, I believe it's right here. Uh, no, this is just the finances. There is a way to check to see um, how your studio is actually looking. And let's see if we can find it here. Maybe it's right here. No, not here. Uh, we'll find it eventually here, uh, but essentially the uh, the ratings of the studios goes up and uh, It's an important piece to uh, uh, Keep it going. So uh, Here we go. Let's get some pathways here Maybe Right here I think I might have goofed up on that it's all right. Okay. So we got that, and now we got a direct pathway here. It's a stage one. Oop. Nope. I don't want to do that. All right. Nope. I keep hitting the escape button to try to get out of the menu, but that's not exactly how you do it. All right, so here we go. Now we need to... Uh... Okay, time to move on. Remember to place down more ornaments. Excellent. The studio is now ready. Carry on improving. Are you ready to open the studio? Congratulations. The studio is officially open. All right, so now that we got the studio open, we can actually go ahead and uh, hire some actors and make some movies. Now, you'll remember we created some actors. Eventually, they will show up um, in the game here. So, that's a cool little tidbit here. Um, let's see here. Who do we got? We have a new movie studio opening in town. So, if you're looking for Andrew Eagle. Actually, here you go. Import star. Here we go. Jenny Smith and Bob Smith. These are the two that we wanted. Let's go ahead and hire Bob Smith here. So we got Bob Smith. 
And let's go ahead and bring in Jenny Smith. So we got Bob and Jenny Smith here. Uh, we could also make directors, or we can hire people as directors. Um, we're going to go ahead and make this chick here, Jasmine Brooks. We're going to make her a director. That's it. Okay, time to move on. So we got a script here. Follow the stream to the casting office where you can get your new stars to rehearse the script. So you bring it in here to the casting okay. office to begin the casting. Needs a cast and, a director. and what you can do Let's is you can go ahead and uh, drag and drop the guys right here off the menu, right into where you think they should be. So Jasmine Brooks is our director, so we're going to bring her in here. Now started rehearsing the and we need two crew members, so let's take a movie. look and grab some crew members. Got these two guys here that need jobs. Great. Available crew will fill any required crew positions, so you don't right. need to assign them. Look at the movie to see how rehearsal is progressing. And it looks like they're rehearsing the script. As soon as they're done rehearsing, then basically what happens is you can essentially shoot it. Now, shooting happens automatically in the movies. However, uh, later in post-production, as soon as you research the technology, you can actually change the scenes, you can change the dialogues, you can kind of direct things a little bit more. It's not a movie maker where essentially you create everything from the scripts and from the ground up, uh, but you can kind of manipulate uh, the way things actually work. So that's kind of how it works. Uh, there is an expansion uh, pack for this game that came out, I believe it was like a year or two after, so it would have been like 2006, 2007, something like that. All right. Um, but um, the script has it finished. had like different uh, scenes and sound movie. effects and things like Place that. Place it in the shoot it room of the casting office. Oh. Your movie is now shooting. Go to the stage set to follow its progress. And then you can come over in here and you can kind of watch it being made, which is kind of fun. Um, so basically, here's everybody running. The stars and crew you selected will assemble at the set, ready for shooting to begin. And of course, this is like the most basic stage. Check what everyone is doing by looking at the cast and crew information bubble on the movie. Jasmine Brooks is on the set. Bob Smith going to get changed. Coming back. You can see the uh, shooting schedule. So if you have different stages, uh, they'll actually transfer the, um, the cast and crew to different sound stages to shoot that movie. So if they the have different kind of scene scenes and stuff shot. like that. So you can see the overall movie progress in the movie's information bubbles. So now you can kind of see them actually actually make the movie, which is kind of cool. Or if you wanted to get a more in-depth view, I believe you just click this button here. No, maybe not. There used to be a way, maybe you have to research the ability, but um, you used to be able to um, kind of see the film actually through basically this camera here. Oh, here you go. There you go. So if you double click the the uh, sound stage, you can actually see what's going on. So we're shooting the baggage boy is basically what this is. So it's like a comedy, I guess. Um, that was the scene right there, the first scene that they just shot. So now you can see the bubbles going back and forth. They're kind of communicating with each other. And here he goes. He's going to go for another take here. And that's a wrap. So that's it for the uh, the first uh, scene there. And uh, now they're going to reset and they're going to shoot the second scene. Now they do three different scenes. Now the other thing here is every five years, there is the Lionhead Awards show. Lionhead, of course, being after Lionhead Studios, the developer. Um, so you'll see it's kind of a timeline here that comes across of any big major news that happens. Now there's nothing here right now, Scenes but you can actually play it and fast forward and things like that. Bubble. So if you Each kind of want to skip set, along and not have to sit there and wait, you can actually move it up ahead. So we basically fast forward it a little bit. And um, it'll kind of go through a little bit quicker. So you don't have to kind of sit around as much. I mean, it's kind of interesting to look at, um, you know, the first couple of times. But, uh, you know, you can definitely see how it can get a little bit uh, stale uh, just staring at it. And of course, while they're shooting this, um, you can be doing a lot of other things. Um, so let's go ahead and kind of uh, 
perk up the uh, studios a little bit here with uh, some different kind of landscaping. Um, I kind of want to finish out with some grass here, so let's get some more grass in here. I, I always like grass in the studios. It, it does definitely increase the uh, the um, the feng shui, as you were, of the um, the studios itself. I just think it looks more appealing to the eye, and I'm sure the actors like it as well. Um, it do, it is pretty expensive though to do everything in grass, and then they have to maintain it, so you have to have good grounds crew uh, that keeping up with it. So. There we go, we'll get rid of... There we go. Question you must write to us answering is... Okay. Which of the seven planets in our yeah. solar system is the widest? Cut. Let's see here. We got some sand. We got tarmac. We delete the different paths there. I, uh, I just don't see a whole lot of use really unless it's uh you know grass I, I just don't necessarily think it looks the best anyway let's get some uh let's get some more um things for these shooting actors to play with so movie, and it's now Oop. ready for shooting is done the production office all right so you grab this here and then if you wanted to basically see the reviews you can put it in here you can check out the finances and this is everything after you release it so let's release it one star script quality and not even a star but uh, you know it's not too bad so let's take a look here this is the other thing you can do you can watch the movie and see what it looks like All right, so that was the baggage boy there. That's what they just shot, so that's kind of cool. Now, of course, you noticed uh, that the uh, the movie was like totally 1920s. It was black and white. There was no sound. There was really low quality music, and the the picture wasn't that great. Over time, uh, as the years progress, uh, you'll get more and more research opportunities to be able to upgrade all of that different kind of stuff. So. Uh, eventually you can get high definition picture, you can uh, do a whole bunch of different kind of stuff with music, sound effects, voice acting, things like that. So it's really cool. Uh, looks like it was six months production and a production cost was $10,000. So let's go ahead and release this movie and see what the reviews are. Sets used in the movie were clearly in superb condition, which is great, which means I had enough maintenance on them. Uh, we've got the look the crew, what a bunch of incompetent, experienced cretins. Well, of course, it's their very first movie. Um, they definitely do level up over time the more that they work, as you can see. Some atrocious acting from Bob Smith. Well, it looks like Bob totally screwed up on that one. Um, Bob doesn't have a great deal of comedy experience. That's, of course, is the case. When you first start out, you don't get a whole lot of options, but as the, the game progresses, you'll get more options as far as script's concerned. He wasn't our comedy guy. He's our action guy, so uh, definitely we need to... Uh, Keep that in mind when we're looking for other ones. But now that it's released, it's uh, generating some money here. You can hover over it and you can see the revenue. 
And it's doing okay right now. It's got a, you know, $4,000 right now. Eh, hopefully it'll recoup its cost and make that 10000 back. Uh, but now that that's going, we definitely have some more people we can hire, we can take a look at. Uh, these are movie crew folks right here. Uh, we've got another actor over here. It looks like we've got uh, Andrew Eagle. Looks like he's a horror and an action actor. Um, stress pot, easily bored, and a moderate drinker. I don't know if we necessarily want to hire him yet, but looks like we can build another stage. So let's go ahead and build that Wild West Saloon. Um, we'll go ahead and keep that right here, actually. Actually, you know what? Um, let's go ahead and do this with it. Let's go ahead and move it right about here. Excellent. I want to kind of keep things in a row. Has been released. Releasing uh, a movie has see. given you some recognition, and you're now listed in the official industry charts. Oh good, we're in the charts. So that means we can see how bad this movie does. Player, Looks I like, oh well, it didn't do too bad. It's uh, $23,000. Um, it's doing pretty good. Considering it's the very first movie, um, you know, you can't expect a whole lot from the first movie. Uh, but eventually you'll get some uh, blockbuster hits that uh, basically just do a whole lot for your studio. Oh, now that we're in the charts, we can actually see our ranking as far as the uh, prestige. We can see uh, different things as far as how the actors are doing, as far as their ratings in the, uh, the world here. You can see uh, Rich Turnbridge and got some great success there. Bob Smith is our actor here. Um, you can see all the things about him. You can see the movie charts. Um, so these are the top movies right now. Uh, looks like Lady Bumfrey and her Curious Benefactor uh, romance was the uh, the top picture right now. But here's the other one. You can see the studio charts and you can click on Dude Studios and you can see here our capital. That's how much money we have. Uh, movies, the quality of the most recent pictures. Stars, these are the star ratings of the actual actors we have. Lot Prestige, this is what we're talking about as far as the grass, the ornaments, cleanliness, and things like that. And awards, of course we haven't won any awards, but this happens every five years. So that's kind of what we're ranked up against, and uh, that's kind of what we're going for. So looks like uh, this movie debuted, and it's gotten up to number eight on the charts here. So as soon as this uh, saloon is built, we can go ahead and work on our next uh, picture. I used to be a theater actor. All the tales I could and tell you. you can kind of see um, the different actors and kind of what's going on with them. Yeah, you can see he's our action comedy guy. He's, uh, eh, could be better, could be worse. Looks like Jasmine Brooks, uh, she's got some high action and comedy, so she might even be good for our next uh, comedy picture if we, uh, if we do end up getting one of those. Uh, but let's take a look here and see what we got going on. Let's get a, another crew member there. I think we might need that eventually. Uh, let's take a look. Now you can see, uh, you can of course, create directors and actors. I kind of want to have um, multiple pictures going on at the same time. Uh, because that's how you really start to make money is you definitely... Um, you want to get that kind of in there, but he's really good at action and horror, so I kind of think I want to keep him as an actor. Um, I'm sure there'll be another person up here to um, uh, hire as a director as well. So, uh, looks like we're uh, pretty much done with the saloon here. So, let's see. Your studio's chart rating is based on the movies you release, the stars you employ, and the overall status of your studio. The bigger your stars, the higher your studio rating. All right. The better your movies, the higher your studio rating. Looking to see, because eventually you can start to hire charts, writers to... Um, click on the rosette. Uh, you can eventually start to hire writers to make your own um, movies as well, to get that going, and they're not just gifted to you. Um, we've already seen that, already giving you kind of an idea now what that, that is. Now that you have a movie out and some money in the bank, it's time to take a closer look at your employees need good sanitation. So place down some restrooms to improve your studio rating. <laughs> $3,000 porta potty. I'll go ahead and put the porta potty restroom. right there. The more employees you have, the more restrooms you'll need to keep your sanitation rating high. Let's go ahead and put that. Employees right need there. good catering provisions too. A snack ban will do for now. 
Yeah, I definitely want to have the snack vans here. Snack vans do definitely um, help, but eventually you'll get the uh, the opportunities to build uh, better things like uh, uh, cantinas and uh, other kinds this of restaurants and things like that. Rating, but your overall studio rating too. Happy stars make better movies. If you want a star to perform well in a movie, you need to make sure they're happy. Of course. And their mood bar shows you how happy they are. Ooh, take a look at that. We're at number one in the uh, the charts right now as far as the uh, studios well, are concerned. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about my And a lot of that has to do with the lot prestige and things like that, so... When the mood bar goes beyond the upper threshold line, it will glow green. This means a star is very happy. When the mood bar goes below the lower threshold line, it will glow red. This means a star is very unhappy. Madeleine Banks. All right, so we need to get another picture going here. Unhappy stars could cause you problems, so look out for the red emergency icons. Of course, One aspect the, uh, of a star's mood is how they feel about their image. Try hovering over your stars to see how they feel. Looks like they're pretty happy about their image. One way to improve a star's image is to give them a makeover. To huh. do this, you'll need to build a makeover department first. Remember, you can rotate a building by holding the left mouse button and moving the mouse around in a circle. Go on, give yeah, it a try. I'll kind of keep that right you there. You can drop builders around the sides of the building to speed up construction if you want. Huh? Use the arrows above the star icons to view your other staff types. What? Staff icons can be used in the same way as star icons. Okay. Okay, while the makeover department is being built, Try placing a few more ornaments around your studio. I don't think I really need that right now, but uh, we do need to connect it with a path. Um, actually, we probably could go ahead and uh, put a little bit more uh, finesse over into this area here to make it a little bit more presentable. Let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's throw some... Uh, some trash cans over here. We have to keep things nice and tidy. And yeah, as you can see here, the uh, the Porta John uh, really decreases the uh, the feng shui of this area. So that's something we definitely need to take a look at here. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put a couple of trees right here. Okay, the makeover department is built. Pick up a star whose image you want to improve. Let's see. I don't think I really want to improve anybody's image right now. It's a waste of money, but... Um, yeah, let's just leave that alone for right now. I think it's going to make me do something anyway, so... Alright, Andrew Eagle, let's go ahead. The makeover screen. Yeah, and so if you go into the makeover, makeover screen, you can essentially... Um, you can pick like their hairstyles and their clothes and things like that um, But uh, essentially if they're not happy like you know the little lady said um, You can go ahead and uh, give them a makeover and uh, it kind of updates them to the time period So like we're in 1921 right now. Uh, it would kind of update them to that period. So uh, Hopefully okay. we can get a script here. Make sure all your stars are happy with their image when you're ready to move on click on great Remember to revisit the makeover department if any stars are unhappy with their image in future. As you can imagine, the more successful your stars become, the more money they want. Mm -hmm. That's Hover pretty normal. over one of your stars to see how they feel about their salary. If you want to give a star a raise, take them to the production office. Yeah. I think I'm good right now. I don't think I can really afford to giving anyone a raise, pay anybody here. more right now. <clears throat> Um, although I guess I could give him a little bit of a raise. Let's see. To review star salaries, place a star in the finance room in the production office. In the salary screen, you can. 
All right, so here's where we can adjust the, um, the salaries of all the different uh, stars. Uh, we can just bulk raise everybody and give them all a raise. Um, let's go ahead and uh, kick them up to. Let's go to 9,500. There we go. That should keep them happy. Just your star as a star's rating increases, they'll demand higher pay. Stars can become jealous of their colleagues too if treated unfairly. Yep. Um, so we'll just go ahead and give them that, and then they'll be good for right now. I just hope it doesn't kill me in the at long run. At some point, your stars will begin to get bored, and we'll need some. Have a look at your stars' information. If the boredom bar falls below the threshold line, a star will become very bored, which will affect their mood. The bar will gradually go down when a star has no work. Making movies is a good way to prevent stars from becoming bored, and we'll keep them happy. Why not start making another movie now? You've acquired another script, which can be found at the studio gates. All right, looks like Remember we got a romance the here. streams and read the information bubbles to see what you need to do. This movie has some minor roles that you can fill with extras. You Let's can see. hire extras at the stage school. We need somebody with good romance, and we don't have a whole lot. She's going to be our best romance here, so um, let's go ahead and give her the lead on this one. There's Jenny, and we need our director, somebody who has some sort of romance, and it doesn't look like she really does. Um, so there's not, not a whole lot that we're going to really be able to do with this, actually, no. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, set up our director for another job here. This movie has some minor roles that you can fill with extras. You can oh, hire extras need an extra. at the stage school. Uh, let's go ahead and give uh, Andrew Eagle the uh, the extra role here. Don't really need any more crew right now. Wow, this movie is actually still still uh, chugging along here, although it's at number twelve, so it's about to fall off the charts. So. Taking a look at our uh, star charts right now, looks like the the uh, other studios are kind of ahead of us here. That's all right. As um, soon as we get uh, another movie in the can, uh, we should be able to start doing a little bit more here and uh, start getting more money rolling in to build some more sets and uh, do that kind of stuff. So uh, we'll let them take their time with that and we'll just take a look at the uh, landscaping as well just to see if there's anything we can do. Get a 1950s car Remember here. Remember to place a movie in the shoot it room when it's ready to shoot. Why not? I don't know how that's really going to help a whole lot, but all right. Now that we're done, we're going to go ahead and let them shoot that. The movie is now shooting. Follow I'm going to go ahead and uh, to make sure fast forward it a little bit so we can get that kind of going. Keep an eye on your star's moods during shooting. If a star's mood bar is glowing green, they will give a great performance. But if it's glowing red, they'll give a very bad performance. We got a basketball court here. It might uh, help out with some. Uh, mood here it just the red is just uh i don't like the red the red is what's killing me right now and i'm not quite sure what i really want to do to improve that um i guess bushes do help a little bit just all of the red is what really is uh something i want to get rid of and now that that's kind of gone a little bit, that helps. All right, so hopefully the uh, the rating of the lots will pick up the pace a little bit here. And let's get some hedges Coming here. Up. Hedges are great. We shall give away a model of a flying boat to one lucky listener. Keep listening. All right, so we made it over a hundred thousand on the bagger boy or the baggage boy. And that was a $10,000 uh, production cost, so not too shabby. Uh, let's see if we can get some uh, better feng shui going on with this crapper over here. Uh, Alright. That kind of helps a little bit. Eight intrepid 
pilots today announced their intention to fly around the world and in planes. Action. Hoping to utilize cutting-edge Cut. aviation technology that will propel their craft through the sky at speeds nearing 7 miles per hour. Holy cow, 7 miles an hour. There are some new sets available to build, which will help add variety to your future movies and keep the public interested. Alright, so love lasso. Of course, the crew experience was not very good. The relationships was average. Uh, I mean, so this movie was a little bit better. Um, let's take a look and see what this one kind of looked like and see what the different set looked like. You can see how they use the two different sets there uh, for the transition. A 37 second movie and the production cost on that $21,756. That's of course because they earned a lot of money though. So. Um, why did they cast an actress as an inexperienced as Jenny Smith in this romantic role? It's Lucini. Movie with some pretty poor direction. Crew was hugely un inexperienced. Actors had one thing in common. They were all useless. Great. Wonderful reviews. Eye on your finances. Let's see what it does, though. As long as it makes profit, I don't care. I mean, now I, I, I care because I want to do well. But at the same time, there's only so much you can do. Uh, when you are only getting X amount of scripts. So, all right, so it looks like we got some uh, more stages here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop those down. I like to keep them close together um, only for the reason that it's easy to transport the cameras um, across. So looks like we got a, a Wild West desert scene here. So we're gonna throw that up here. And we'll get some pathways going here so we can get there. Uh, I don't really have any sci-fi actors, so I'm not going to worry about building that one just yet. Um, let's see what we got here. And there we go. Okay. Maybe it's gonna make me build that set. I don't Movies think so. Movies can be themed around one of five different genres: action, comedy, romance, sci-fi, and horror. Making movies of different genres and using different sets will keep your movies fresh and interesting. Every star gains experience while working on a movie based upon the genre of the movie being made. A more experienced star will give a better performance. Andrew Eagles, uh, my horror guy, which he'd be perfect for this Fantastic. one here. Your latest movie has been released. This should to get to the top of the charts, you'll need to focus on improving the star ratings of your stars, movies, and studio. The star rating of a star increases with the success of their movies, their image and salary, and much more. A movie star rating increases with the quality of to get more details on what is affecting the star rating of a star movie. When part of a star's movies or your studio's rating changes significantly, a message will appear to show you what has changed. You can get a breakdown of the best and worst features of the studio by reading the studio reviews. At the production office, place the this information one. object in the reviews room. And so here you can see... Uh all of the different kind of uh, reviews. Cash balance is low, bottom of the pile. It's a film studio posing as a rubbish tip. <laughs> Apparently the studio is not that attractive right now, which uh, let's take a look and see if we can get some more details on what's up with that. Prestige is doing pretty well. Um, there, there's just not a whole lot that I can really do right now until I can make my own After scripts. After making a movie, stars usually need some time to relax. 
An overworked star is not hover over a star to with time you'll acquire new facilities in which your stars can de-stress. Certain ornaments can also help stars to relax. Okay, for your next movie you'll need to write your own script. With the industry beginning to grow and competition rise, the easiest way to write a script is to hire some script writers to do it for you. All to right. do this, you'll need to build a script writing office. Do this now. Okay, so now that we've got uh, the ability to do that, let's go ahead and... My name is Mr. William McDuff. You may, if you wish, write to me at this wireless broadcast station. Okay. All right, now let's get that script office built. Okay, while the script writing office is being built, hover over your stars to see if you can improve any of their moods. Remember, you can right click to see all of their information. Looks like uh, Bob Smith needs to get some work here. Get some more builders here. A couple of janitors, I think we'll need. Okay. All right, so we're archiving the movie because it's no longer making any money. One hundred seven thousand, not too bad for the first picture, uh, considering it only cost. Ten thousand dollars to make. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on now. Looks like uh, just about done being built. Uh, we definitely need to get this connected, which it is now. Okay, the script writing office is built. Time to start writing a new script. All right, so let's get let's get an action movie here. Script writers will have write a some good based action. on the genre you've selected and the set you have. Although this gives you less control over the details, it allows you to focus on other things. And let's get a yeah, let's get them working there as well. The more folks that you have working on scripts, the uh, the faster they get okay, done, obviously. While the script so. Is being written, let's take a look. At, pick up one of your stars, then you can get them socializing. Yeah, you I don't can think hover really over need each to star to that. see how they feel about um, their colleagues. Let's go ahead and get this uh, work on the a lot a little bit here. And like I said, I always like to uh, work on the feng shui a little bit. All right, so we got that. Uh, let's see. Uh, we probably want to build a snack shack over here. So we got the catering up. Let's go ahead and... Heh. <laughs> Yeah, we can basically write scripts to sell them, or we can sell our stars, you know, when they're about to crap out. Um, there's not a whole lot that I can do for that. You know, get some more entertainment over here, I guess. Um, I can do that. Get some of the... Litter bins here. And let's get a let's get a bench or two. Anything to uh, keep up the appearances.
And let's put that right there. And looks like they're about halfway through that, not too bad. Pick up one of your stars, then you can get them socializing. Great. Now let's find another star. To make two stars, and you can see how a star feels about another star when you hold them over a chat icon. Drop the when you can see how a star feels about another star. You can see how a star okay. feels. Okay. While you're waiting for the script to finish, try making use of your new set. You can make stars practice on a set to stop them from getting bored and to increase their experience. Tim, you can see the star's experience in the genre associated with this set. Place the star on the practice icon. <laughs> stars will practice for a short time, after which their experience in this genre will increase. This will reduce their boredom, but could also make them more stressed. Okay. Probably want to build the um, link between these two here. The script is finished and ready for casting. Place it in the casting office when you're ready. All right, so now we've got our script done here, and let's go ahead and get this one going. Great. You seem to know what you're doing now. Look out for more tips and useful information as you get our, progress. Get our uh, actors in here. I'm William McDuff, and I suggest that as the and we is need nice, our action Henry director, Jasmine. There we go. All right. So now we've got them working on that one, Caravan on Fire. That sounds pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and get these uh, script writers working on something else here. Um, let's have them do. Let's have them do a comedy script here. That way we can get uh, get cracking on another film as soon as this one's done. And let's see if we got anything else that we can be building here. I don't think we really need that. Yeah, pretty good on all that. Looks like we need some more restrooms, apparently. Get that going. All right. Let's shoot it. All right, so now that they're shooting that one here, we should have our other script being done as soon as this one is finished. Looks like they're shooting off the Wild West here. See here you can change the sliders to kind of uh, um, change the direction a little bit. You can also change the backdrops, which is kind of interesting. So you can kind of change things around a little bit. Um, but as you get the, uh, the science fiction pack or the sound effects pack um, for the movies, so you get a lot more of those different kind of options. But all right, so they're filming that one there. Let's see how many are they shooting here. They got four scenes and they're shooting them all in the desert here, so they're not going to be moving very far from that set um, since they're all going here. Let's see. Let's get her working on her romance a little bit more. And do we have anybody else to hire right now? Nope, we certainly do not. Newsflash! The 
movie-making industry today announced its plans to hold an awards ceremony in which filmmaking luminaries can get together and pretend to be happy for a handful of winners. The first ceremony will take place in 1925 and then every five years after that. All right, so we got a comedy script going. Let's see. I kind of want to get another action film going. Let's get a... Yeah, let's get that going here so we can get the sequel. What's going on with this person? She's very happy right now. shooting the last scene right now and then we're gonna be able to release that one love lassos still at 92,000 <laughs> oh yeah that needs to be connected there that's pretty important uh, let's see if we can do something with the feng shui around here. It's pretty, uh, pretty bad around that porta crapper. Let's see. Got a drinking fountain here. It's pretty good to have. Next film is done. Let's see what we got for uh, reviews on this one. All right, so uh, not too bad. At least we got a single star on that one. A um, little bit more than a star. Let's see what the uh, the movie came out looking like. Caravan on fire. Oh no! Bang! <laughs> okay. Well, that was interesting for sure. Um, hopefully, the uh, the uh, reviewers actually enjoy it as well. And it looks like this one cost uh, $23,169 in production costs. So, let's see. Best movie the studio has ever produced. A refreshing and adventurous approach to making movies. An excellent script which drives the action forward. Uh, Jasmine Brooks' direction is derivative, but it does the job. The sets used in the movie are clearly in superb condition. And for a first effort, this is a decent attempt at action from Do22 Studios. So not bad. Uh, not bad for the uh, the first script that we've actually written. Hopefully uh, it does well in the, uh, the box office here. And looks like it's not doing too bad right now to start out. And now that we've got our comedy script, we can go ahead and begin casting that one now. And let's go ahead and see who we got here. Uh, we'll go ahead and put, uh, go ahead and give Bob Smith the lead on that one. Maybe not has the best experience, but you know what? 
It's a thing. It happens. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody else has very much comedy experience, but let's do the Bob and um, Jenny Smith here. Let's get her on the stage a little bit here to get a little bit more experience, though. I don't necessarily want to shoot that without her uh, getting a little bit more experience. But, uh, yeah, Caravan of Fire doing pretty well in the box office so far. Uh, you can see we've got the first awards shows coming up fairly soon. And we've got uh, a little bit more capital. We got over the 100000 again after uh, spending a lot of money on some sets. Still got the action script going right now. Definitely would like to see some more uh, script writers. I wonder where all my uh, staff is. Let's see. You can come over here and start writing that script too. In town. Feel free to join us. 7 p.m. onwards. Smart casual wear only, please. No dogs or children. Let's get another uh, script writer here. See if we can boost this up a little bit more. Your attention, please. A director is urgently required in the casting department. Uh. I don't think I like Malika right there. All right, so looks like Jenny got her a little bit of experience on comedy. We'll go ahead and throw her in, and we need our one year to the award ceremony. All right, so we've got that one rehearsing, and it looks like that one will be close to release uh, right before the award ceremony 62,000 caravan of fire doing pretty well uh, we could go ahead and build some more sets uh, we do need the sci-fi bridge eventually um, we'll go ahead and put the sci-fi bridge right here like I said I like to keep them all in a general sense in the same area just makes it a lot easier whenever um, production is going on and they're trying to move sets around so on stage with the great Tommy Newton <laughs> he could laugh cry and sing at the same time now that's what I, uh, I don't think I necessarily want that tarmac there that's all right uh, let's get going with this one here and we're ready to shoot so we'll get that one shooting. And our next action film is ready. All right, so. Uh, we need another extra, apparently. Oh, let's just leave that out here right now. Uh, that way we can get that uh, ready to go for the next one. And let's see what we've got going now. Alright, here we go. And they are starting to shoot the movie. You can see we got our one star. And we're getting some more capital. Caravan on Fire is about to approach the 100,000. Unfortunately, Love Lasso did not make the cut for 100,000. We'll go ahead and archive that one. And that one's done. So we got Caravan on Fire still doing really well. Uh, over 100,000 right now. Here, dancing around, doing all sorts of different kinds of stuff. It's a wrap. Yep, need to get some uh, some more provisions there for the uh, the folks to uh, throw their stuff away. Apparently. Some call it the most pointless flight of all time. Others say it's the most important flight ever. 
Well, what everyone does agree on is that eight pilots have flown right around the world. And Action! proving Einstein right, when the eight landed back okay. when they started, they were exactly one it's year around. younger than when they set off. More on this later. Alright, so let's get a couple of trees here. Oop. Wrong button. And we got a film ready. Oh, almonds. Let's go ahead and release that. Jasmine Brooks did a good job there. One star quality. Novelty pretty bad. Technology standard. So it wasn't the best. Let's see how uh, how funny this movie was. It's always kind of interesting to see these movies, just to kind of see what they look like. Um, all right, so twenty-five thousand to uh, produce that film over six months. Shot that one pretty quick. Uh, sets are less interesting than a train spotting accountant. We've just seen them too many times before. Uh, very interesting, considering this was only the second film that that was shot on. So uh, my guess is that they thought that the uh, the sets were not as varied, or that they should have used different sets. Uh, they probably used the same backdrop. So maybe I could have done something with that. I don't know. It's all right. But here's our next action flick that we can go ahead and be in casting now. Alright, so Andrew Eagle. And they are going to go ahead and start rehearsing that one. They want real life in front of them. Movies will never replicate reality. You'll see. See what we got going on here. Their prestige is uh, not as high as ours, that's for sure. Ooh, Lioneer Productions uh, got some pretty good prestige, though. Um, uh, we might be able to uh, increase that prestige by the time for the awards. Let's see. I just don't like necessarily putting random things around to uh, make things as prestigious. But you know what? It actually does kind of fill things out a little bit. And I can move these around later. So I just hate to cheat the system to get awards. But it, it actually does kind of, you know, make a little bit of sense, I guess, to have them to be a little bit more fleshed out than they are the, the, uh, the grounds, as it were. like they're ready to shoot that one so we'll get them shooting that um, hopefully we can release that before the awards but I'm not holding my breath necessarily on that but we'll see what happens uh, oh almonds is uh, 34,000 caravan on fire is uh, doing amazing right now hopefully our uh, race you um, will uh, do very well so that we can get some more capital uh, by the time that the awards ceremony hits um, let's see what our, uh, prestige is looking a little bit better. Let's see if we can't, uh, boost that up just a little bit more. Remember that if you wish to participate in any element of this broadcast, you may telegram us, or use the telegram device employing Morse code. Telegram. Alright. 
And that's not too unnatural, necessarily, to hide that stuff, so... Um, I mean, it's a little bit all over the place, obviously, right now, but... I mean, like I said, these things can, um... These things can, uh, help just a little bit. Alright, so it's our first, uh, award ceremony. Five years. Um, here we go. Let's see if we got any awards this time. such a competitive industry isn't easy, which makes the achievements of the following stars all the more commendable. So let's have a look now at the list of nominees for Highest Charting Star. Well, we're not in one of those categories. Yay. The shortlist for the highest charting movie award is... It's been on fire in the charts. It's... Dreamboat Creation. Hmm. Chart positions can be all important in an industry as competitive as ours. So here's the lineup for this year's highest ranking studio award. It's enjoyed huge success. Please put your hands together for... Tonight's award ceremony. Make sure you join us at our next award ceremony, when we'll be giving out more of these coveted awards to the leading lights of the movie-making industry, including a new one for most prestigious studio lot, which we'll be awarding to the company with the best lot. Thank you all for joining us. Good night. All right, so... Um, no awards won that time through the first five years, but that's all right. Um, happy what we got so far accomplished. Uh, we are only the fifth ranked studio, obviously. Um, for the first, for the first, uh, you know, five years, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm sure we'll uh, do a lot better in the next award ceremony in uh, five years here. So. Uh, that's it for this Let's Play of the movies. Uh, if you enjoyed this one and you'd like to see more of this particular game and you'd like to see me continue the series, uh, do drop a like on this video and leave a comment. Let me know. Um, I'd be more than happy to play this game again. I loved it when it came out in 2005. Um, love it still even today. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I'm MonkeyDude22, and I will catch you in the next video.